sounds. Answering questions in the same old boring fashion of hearing cliched responses time and time again just dribbling out of their mouths. Well, that can all change when they join the grooming school for AFL footballers. This is Essendon player Tim Watson before he enrolled in the course. Jimmy, you played well last week. Well, the boys play well. You know, it's really good to get a win under our belt, um, but we're not getting carried away. Uh, you know, if you look at our team, we really are a champion team, not a team of champions. Right, what about the finals? Well, look, we, we can't look that far ahead. You know, really, we've got to take each week as it comes, and, uh, you know, the, the, the finals are a long way off. Right, and will you be playing on again next year? Well, I haven't decided at this stage. Um, you know, I'll sit down with the match committee at the end of the season and, uh, you know, they'll look at the way I've played throughout the year and then, uh, you know, really we'll just have to sit down and decide amongst ourselves. Terrific. Yeah, a bit tragic, Timmy. Uh, <laughs> you must admit you sound like a bit of a dickhead back then. Yeah, I was, <laughs> was very disappointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now uh, Tim can safely say that he has escaped the stock standard applies from which all professional footballers suffer. Because of the grooming school for AFL footballers, our graduates learn specific techniques in handling an interview. No cliched responses, no false modesty, and lessons in saying exactly what you think. Tim, you played a great game last week. Good. Uh, I was shit hot last week. Um, <laughs> actually, I've been bloody good since I've come back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I just been a little bit disappointed with the way some of the other boys have been. Right. And, um, Timmy, what about the finals? Hey, who gives a rat's ass about the finals? <laughs> There's a couple of important things that are going on at the moment. First, I've got to get paid. Right. And, you know, the way I've been playing, it's never enough. Right. And secondly, um, I'm still organising the players' trip away at the end of the year. Right. And, uh, <laughs> Timmy, the big question, will you be playing on next year? No, I don't need this bullshit. Um, <laughs> no, I'd much rather get back up there in the commentary box with, um, you know, Dennis and Bruce and the boys and right. chew on donuts and, uh, you know, hang, hang shit on the blokes who are playing today. Right, Timmy. <laughs> So don't delay. If you're an AFL footballer, join the grooming school for AFL footballers. It's a decision you won't regret. Now, Tim, I believe you're playing tomorrow, so I guess it's straight home to bed for you. Oh, no, no, it's only 11 o'clock. Um, I've got to pick up Vanda and then, you know, Bomber Thompson. And I know, Bob. Yeah. You're off? Yeah, we're out tonight. Oh, Mick is there, too. Mick's here, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell Shoots I'll be there tomorrow, though. I'll, I'll be on time. Yeah, no worries, Tim.